When it comes to 50ccs, there are a lot of questions to be answered. So in this video, I'm going to go through those and help you out a little bit. Before I really get into the key parts of this video, if you could quickly subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoy it, even maybe watch a few more of my videos, it would really help me out. My Twitch is also in the description if you're interested in that as well. Anyway, back to the video. Why, when and how much am I willing to spend are the sort of questions you should be asking yourself when it comes to bikes. I'm not claiming to be an expert, but here are some of the pros and cons to 50ccs that I've learned from the time that I've been riding, and some reasons I think you should or shouldn't get one for your first bike. So don't jump in the comments and tell me that you've been riding a Harley for 30 years and 50ccs are a waste of time. You're probably not the audience this is for. This is probably for the 15 year olds that are thinking about getting a bike, that just haven't made up their minds yet. Why is the first question you should be asking? Do you want to be a commuter, or do you just want to be a leisure rider within the community? While I'm here I will mention there is a massive community when it comes to bikes and riding, you will meet a lot of people and it may just be the best decision of your life if you start now. Back to the point, if you want to be a commuter then there's other questions to be answered. How far are you going? If you're in a city or a high populated area then the answer is sure. Get yourself a little bike to zoom through the streets and filter through cars, that's what they're for. On the other hand, if you're in a less dense area with long roads, dual carriageways and barely any traffic, the maybe hold out a bit from a bike just yet. The train would be quicker. Bearing in mind that it's against the law for someone on a 50cc to make use of the motorway, there is no way to even challenge the speed that a train can get you somewhere. You will lose every time. There is, however, the topic of de-restriction that can definitely warrant itself a completely separate video. Briefly though, maybe if you have a de-restricted bike, then it may be a bit more worth the time and money of getting yourself on one However, it is illegal to have a de-restricted bike, so just watch out for that. I'm also not suggesting to do that, maybe. If you're in need of something that goes anywhere from about 40 miles an hour or above, you're way out of luck. That just won't happen. Okay, maybe it could, but we're really not talking about 70-80 kit two-strokes here. If you want a bike just to be part of the biking community, then why are you here? You should have a bike and be part of it anyway, there's no question about it. It doesn't matter if it's a 50cc or a 600, it's a bike. You will be accepted in the community if that's what you're worried about. It is a bike, you will be able to ride with other people. The next question is when? How close are you to turning 17? If you said anything under six months, don't get one. Wait until you turn 17, do your CBT and get yourself a 125. Spend the next six months researching the bike that you want you will have it for a minimum of two years after all, you might want to get something you're comfortable with. If you're a while away from turning 17 and you really want to get a bike, think about the cost. Being someone who rides a bike every day, it does drain your wallet. The amount of petrol that you consume will cost you a lot. The next sort of costs are, can you afford the bike first of all? Can you insure the bike? And can you afford the gear? These are probably the three most important questions when it comes to bikes in general. Can you actually afford to do it? If the answer to all of these is yes, then you're in luck. I think you should get one. Now for the real question when it comes to 50ccs. Moped or motorcycle? Yes, I know that any 50cc technically is a moped, but what I'm talking about is a scooter versus a geared bike. In my opinion, if you can get your hands on a geared 50cc, it will be the best choice. There is no better way to learn a clutch and gears than on a small 50cc bike that can barely speed. It will prepare you for when you get a bigger bike and will help you build confidence overall when it comes to riding. So yeah, if you can get a geared bike, that would be the best option. So that's that really. That's my opinion on 50ccs. I think they're great, but only if you really want one. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if I can make a video out of your question, I will also try my best to do so.